Okay. So today, we are going to continue reading Ostrich's Long Neck. Okay. However, we're going to read a different story, a different version of how he got his long neck. So it's the second story in this book. Okay. So this is another what we call pourquoi tale. So pourquoi is a French word, it just means why. So it's a story or a tale about why something happened. Okay, so yesterday we heard one version of why the ostrich has a long neck. So what I want you to do right now is you're going to turn to a partner and remind each other about that story and what happened in that story. Okay, so Damien, your partner will be Mr. Garcia. Okay? Okay, you two and you two. Turn to your partner, talk about what happened. Um, so what happened yesterday? What did you write? In the first story. The first story. The truck the day the ostrich was So the ostrich could look in his mouth and have the ostrich trace on it. He had a show neck before and then he pulled the alligator's tongue harder and then he got a big neck. This is how. So that's the explanation to why the ostrich got the long neck. Is it? And what do you think about that? What else can you tell me, Damien, about what, what you heard yesterday? Guys, let's turn back to me. So how did the ostrich get his long neck in the first book, Mike? Uh huh. Then what happened? And then the ostrich tried to pull his neck out, and then when he pulled it out, he had a long neck. Yeah. Why did the ostrich put his neck in there in the first place? Carmen, why did he put his neck in there in the first place? Mm, maybe because he believed the crocodile and wanted to be a good friend. And why should he have not have believed the crocodile? Because the crocodile was like fake flying. How do we know that? Mm. Because the crocodile was pretending he, in the beginning of the story, he wanted to eat, but he didn't find anything to eat. So I think he just wanted to eat one of his like, friends. Yeah, and Damien, who did he try first before the ostrich came in? The zebra. And? The monkey. And what happened with them? They, they knew that he was a trickster. Yeah, trickster. Oh, everybody say that great word. Trickster. trickster. Yes. So today we're going to read the next story. It is called How the Ostrich Gave Himself a Long Neck. So I want everybody to turn to page 12. And I want you to take your sticky that you had from yesterday, and I want you to put it onto the back of the book, just like that. Stick it and put it on the back of the book. Okay. So this is a different version. So as you're reading this, you're going to be thinking about what's the same and what's the different. But I'm going to point out a few words, okay? So in this story, he gets a long neck by something he does himself, okay? Mm -hmm. So there are some words in here that I want you to point, that I want to point out to you. I want you guys to go to page 13, and I want you to find the word termite. It's right here. Termite. Yeah, it's in a couple different places. Termite. So in this story, they talk about termite mounds, okay? Say those two words with me. Termite mounds. Run your finger underneath those words as you say it. Termite mounds. So a termite mound, termites are little insects, and they're kind of like ants. You know how ants make ant hills? Yeah. Well, termites make mounds, which are just a bigger. They're like tiny little mountains. Okay. I don't know what color they are, actually. I think they're brown, mostly. Okay. Now, where does the story take place? Where does the ostrich live? In Africa. In Africa. So if you go to Africa, you'll see termite mounds. Now, what the ostriches do when they lay their eggs is they sit on the eggs, and the ostrich itself looks like a termite mound. Okay? What is it called when animals fade or blend into nature to... Camouflage. 
camouflage. So you're going to see that concept in here, okay? Termite mounds. Say that with me again. Termite mounds. So now I want you guys to go to page 16. And I want you to find the word peered. It's in the second paragraph. Peered. Peered. Now this says, Mr. Ostrich peered into the darkness. So the word peered means he looked into the darkness. Now I didn't just glance. So this is a glance. Okay, I'm going to have to do a glance. This is a glance. Okay, I just glanced at Damien. But what he did is he peered. So now I'm going to peer at Damien. Okay, so that is what the ostrich is doing. Okay, and that's an important part of this story, that he's peering all the time. Okay, I know, and it's in, the, it's in the picture, just like one of our things here. Okay, this story also, let's go back to page two. You know how stories sometimes start with once upon a time? Mm -hmm. This story starts with long, long ago. ago. A lot of folk tales like this start with that kind of thing, like long ago. But it's like the same, because once upon a time means like long ago too. Yeah, and that's something that's kind of particular to these folk tales. Long ago, once upon a time, or in a land far away. Those are things that folk tales use, okay? Um, the last thing I want to talk about before we start reading are those ED endings. Boy, you guys were so good yesterday reading all of the ED endings, okay? That was amazing. So I'm going to point out a few words that have ED endings in this. I'm going to write this word here. This word is change. If I put a D on it, what is it? Change. Changed. Everybody say that with me. Changed. So today I change... Uh, my clothes? My clothes. Yesterday, I changed my clothes, right? So the other one I want to point out is, and this word is in here, so that's the word what? Pop. Pop. If I put it in the past Pop. tense. Pop. 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 Yeah? So one thing I want to point out, changed has a D at the end. What do you hear at the end of pot? Pop. 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 A B. No, you don't hear E.D. What do you hear? Pot. A T. You hear a T sound. So this is one of the crazy things about English, is that E.D. makes different sounds at the end. Sometimes it makes the B sound changed. Sometimes it makes the T sound popped. Okay? Okay. Pop. This word you had yesterday. What is this word? Pretend. Pretended. 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 This one we actually hear the ed sound at the end, don't we? Mm -hmm. So this one is changed, this one is popped, this one is pretend ed. Ed. Three different ways to do ed. So as you're reading, pay attention to how you're reading those ed words, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So one other thing I want you to think about as we read this story, use your strategies. How is the story the same? And how is it different from the first story? Go ahead and start reading. I'm going to come around and listen to you guys. Okay, so why don't you start at the beginning of that sentence? So what were the termite mounds we were talking about? Yeah, and they're not called ants, they're called. Yeah. 
So we know it has to do with the eye, right? This is a phrase. So if she looks like a termite mound, does she look like an ostrich? Hearing on John Sternly, you got it. What do you think the word sternly means? Somebody says something sternly. How do you think they're saying it? Do you think he's happy with her because she's playing around all night? So how do you think he's feeling about so it's better work than that? Okay. Okay. Angry. Yeah. So what do you think, how do you think he talked to her then if she was angry with her? So, what do you think sternly means? Kind of, a little bit, but it means kind of like, he said it in a very, like, you know, you know how teachers sometimes talk in a very straight way, or strict way? It's kind of what sternly means. So he says this, there you are. So he doesn't say it angrily, he says it in a very strict way. So as you're reading the rest of this, think about how he's feeling about why she played around on him, okay? And also, don't skip your words, you see that word there, okay? So, on his, um, on his long legs, mm -hmm. keep reading on your Neck 
all night long. Mm. And now this was stretched out as long. And that is how the ostrich got his long neck. Nice, you read all those words accurately. And you worked hard on getting this word, right? Stretched. And you got to the end of the word, right? Got that ED ending on there? Stretched. What sound do you hear at the end? Is stretched. Mm -hmm. And you don't hear ED? Stretched. Stretched. T. Oh, a little T sound, yeah. So nice work on getting that. What is happening on this page? Tell me in your own words. This is... This is... tells him... tells him... that... He got a long <coughs> neck, and what happened? He has a long neck. Mm -hmm. How did he get a long neck? By stretching to see who was behind the the termite mounds. Uh huh. Because they, because she was doing what? What was she Running doing? Running around. Yeah. And she, yeah. So how do you think Mr. Ostrich feels because she was playing around on it? A little bit mad. What's a better word than mad? Angry. So I want you to go back and reread as we're waiting for everybody to get finished and really think about what is the same and what is different from this story to the first story, okay? So reread. Think about what's the same and different. Let's keep on reading quietly. Table one, I know you can do better. Good job, Kalia. have a chance to read the story at least once. Yes. Okay, so before we start talking about what's the same and different, you're going to turn to your partner and talk about, you tell the story, in the beginning, next, after that, finally, then. So do the main important events of the story, okay? And I want you to take turns. Maybe one person does half the story, and then the other person does the other half, okay? Okay. Go ahead and turn to your partner and talk about what happened in the story. Damien, you can talk to me. Mr. Ostrich had a short neck. Right. And mm -hmm. then... Why? Why did Mr. Ostrich sit on the nest? Why didn't Mrs. Ostrich stay on the nest? Yeah, and how long had Mrs. Ostrich been on the nest? Mm, longer than that. We'll take a look in the book. Farhan. Mm -hmm. What does it say at the bottom of page 13? Go to the bottom of page 13. Okay, so read that sentence. So why did Mr. Ostrich take over? Because she was tired of sitting and she wanted to stretch her legs. Okay, guys. Let's come back this way. So I have a few questions for you just to check and make sure that you really understood kind of some of the things that happened in the story, okay? Um, so, Mr. Garcia, these questions aren't on there, but I just noticed that I have to do a little bit more checking for comprehension, okay? 
So why did Mr. Ostrich offer to sit on the eggs? Why did he offer to sit on the eggs, Maya? So she could eat. I don't know. Does it say that she wanted to eat in there? How was she feeling sitting on the those eggs all that time? So Carmen, talk about that. I think Mr. Ostrich decided to take her to the eggs nest because he had darker feathers and it could blend into like the eggs. Mm-hmm. And how was Mrs. Ostrich feeling sitting on the nest for so long? Really tired. So he was kind of helping her out, right? But what did Mrs. Ostrich do all night? What did she do all night? Play. Alondra, tell us about that. I should see readers out there. Mm-hmm. Hands are not up. You are reading. Mr. Ostrich saw her wife playing with his wife. Yeah. How do you guys think Mr. Ostrich felt about that? Angry. 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 Talk about that with each other. Why do you want to do that? Okay, guys. I'm going to have him talk to you. Okay, yeah. He's kind of doing her a favor, right? Because she goes plays all night. Okay. How did he get his long neck? By stretching it a lot. Yeah, he stretched it all that time and it grew. He could, because he what? What did he do with his eyes? What's that word we learned? It's another word for looking or seeing. Look in the book. What did he do? He peered. Can you say that word? Peered. Yeah. He peered. It took him a while to. And kept peering and peering and peering. He kept stretching, right? Okay. What are some things that are the same? And what are some things that are different? And we're going to use our accountable talk stems, okay? So if you start, maybe you're just going to say, I think. Who would like to begin? Okay, so Carmen, thinking about same and different. I think the All difference I about Mrs. Ostrich and Mrs. Ostrich is that Mrs. Ostrich has lighter feathers and Mrs. Ostrich has darker feathers. So I love how you're talking about the two characters in this story, right? That's great. But what I want you to do is think about the first story with the crocodile mm-hmm. and think about the second story with the Mr. and Mrs. Ostrich. What are some things that are the same about those two stories? And what are some things that are different? Okay, who would like to start our conversation? Maya. Carmen, I know you can think about it. Omar, turn around. So the characters are Open different, right? Who would like to add something? Alondra, add to our conversation. All I should be on Miss Alondra. I would like to add something the same about it. I think something that's the same is that in the first story, um, what happened in the first story? How did he get his long neck in the first story? Messiah. First warning. He got his long neck by putting his head in a crocodile's mouth. And how is that different than the second story? It's different because in the first story, he got his neck by peering. In the second story, right? In the second story, by peering at the neck. And his neck did what? Stretch. Yeah, nice use of the word peering. What else is the same and different? Irving, give us something that's the same or different. Not about those two characters. We're talking about the two stories. So the story with the crocodile and then the story with this. What are some things that are the same or different between the two stories? The crocodile and the In the first story, the crocodile. But now the ostrich is 
Well, the crocodile, what did we call him because he 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 kind of pretended to do things? What did we call him? A what? Trickster. He was a trickster, right? Was there a trickster in this second story that no. we read? Was there a trickster? Was no. somebody? There wasn't a trickster. There was a trick in there, though. Do you guys remember no. what that was? Um, the, the lady ostrich, she pretended to be a tree mite. Oh, look, it's not tree mite. It's um, termite. A termite what? A termite mound. Mound. Can everybody say that word with me? Mound. mound. Okay. So that was called what? What do we call that when we're blending into things? Camouflage. 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 So there was a trick, but there wasn't a character that played a trick, right? On s other characters. What else is the same and different? I want you guys to think of one more thing, and I want you to turn to your partner, okay? Can you think of one more thing that's the same and different, okay? Turn to your partner and share it. I think that the Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the one Where did the first story take place? Along the river bank, right? Where did the story take place? So that's something that's really right? Yes. Okay, let's come back together. So, who would like to share one more thing that is the same or different than these? Something we haven't talked about. We already talked about the characters. We already talked about the trick. What is something else that is the same or different? Alondra. Something that is Okay, so the setting is in a riverbank, okay. Um, Damien, what is the setting in the second story? Um, in the grass. The grass. Grasslands, yeah. Is there a river even mentioned in the no. second story? No. Uh, in the first story, what time of day is it? Morning. And what happens in the second story? Morning. We kind of feel the, the, the whole day, right? Okay. I have one more question to ask you guys. How do you think Mr. Ostrich felt when he saw his wife playing all night? Upset. Please mm -hmm. sentence. Mm -hmm. Damien, how do you think he felt? Upset. What? Angry. What? Because Mrs. Ostrich was was playing around. Mm -hmm. with him. And what did he offer to do for her so she could get some rest and sleep? To to lay on to sit on the edge. And then what's she end up doing? How would you guys feel if you did a favor for somebody and then they just went off and played? Disappointed. Disappointed? How else would you feel? Upset. Upset. Maybe angry. angry. trust out of them a little bit, right? Okay, guys. So we're going to go and end here. Um, you guys did a nice job. Go ahead and put your books here. Okay? Thank you very much. And go and do your independent review.